Hi everybody. Uh, it's a little bit different locale than we usually have for our computer class, but um, all things considered, not too bad. I get to be outside. I don't have to wear shoes, so I'm making the best of it. Today we're going to be talking about something we've talked about before. We're going to be talking about ebooks. Now I understand a lot of people aren't necessarily fans of ebooks. I just finished this one two days ago. It was pretty good. I'm a Pendergast fan and this one's actually set in Sanibel so pretty nice to have a kind of a local interest story but here's the problem. I finished it and now the library's closed. I can't return it and I can't go check out some more. So I'm going to turn to ebooks and that's exactly what we're going to be talking about today. First place you're going to want to go is to our website hcplc.org Nada.com. That'll bring you here to the library website. From here, you're going up top, right here to this very first item up here in the banner, Books and More. And that kind of makes sense. You're looking for a book. Even though it's a digital book, still a book. Right up here, again, towards the top of the page, you're going to select ebooks. And in this case, we're going to go right here to Overdrive. It would be a little bit different if you were doing this on a phone or a tablet, but if you're doing this on a laptop or a desktop, you're going to want to choose Overdrive. You can see that there's some other options here like Myon and Hoopla, Access 360, RB Digital, so on and so forth. If you're interested in those, great. We can talk about those for another class, but for today, we're going to focus right here on Overdrive. Just clicking on that link here into Overdrive that brings you here to this page. A couple of options you've got here. One thing I would do is up here at the top, you could go to search. But before we do that, I would come right over here and sign in. I'm going to click right here on this sign in button. From here, you're going to enter two items. First of all, your card number. That's the number on back of your card. All together, no spaces. Then your PIN number, typically what we use is the last four digits of your phone number. You're going to sign in with that. If you have any trouble with that, for some reason your card doesn't work, your PIN number is not right, you can always give us a call. Uh, talk to someone there at downtown, especially right now. We should be able to straighten that out for you online. For now, I'm going to say no. We're not going to save that password. You certainly can if you're doing this at home. And then I would go into my search. A couple of things about the search here. From here, you could search however you like. If you want to use a title, an author, a subject, you can plug any of that information in. What I like to do sometimes is to go right down here underneath the search to advanced. And the reason I like that, just like it sounds, it opens up all sorts of options. Uh, if you're not sure about the subject, you can come in here and look through their list. There are tons and tons of subject items that you could look through here. If there's something specific that you're looking for, this is also a great way to get an idea of some of the offerings that are out there. If you're not exactly sure what you're looking for, sometimes the subject uh, listing is a great place to kind of just poke around a little bit and find what you're looking for. I'm going to keep it pretty general. I'm going to say fiction. Another thing that I like here is availability. Even though it's a digital book, sometimes things are checked out. Sometimes we have limited numbers of a digital book. And I know you're saying, wait a minute, this is a digital book. How can it possibly be checked out? Well, when it comes to digital books, even though it's digital, even though it's not a physical copy on a shelf, we purchase license for all of those books. So sometimes it's a very popular title, they might all be checked out at the moment. So one thing I like to do sometimes is go to availability and choose available now. That way I'm only finding books that I can check out right now. Once you've made whatever elections you want to make here, title, author, subject, availability, audience, maybe you're looking for a kid's book, a young adult book, you can make whatever elections you want there. Once you've done that, this is kind of important. You want to scroll down and make sure you're using this search button 
because if you scroll up and you do your search here, you're going to actually eliminate all of your choices that you made here. So once you've made your choices, whatever they are, scroll down and click on search. And what it should come back with are fiction titles that are available right now for us to check out. So let's see what we get. All sorts of options here. And so from here, you might say, wow, okay, I've got 89,397 results. There is such a thing as too much of a good thing. So you might say, whoa, that's way too much. I don't want to start wading through um, 89,000 plus results. Now you might really want to check out Cowboy Firefighter. <laughs> no judgment, but not one I'm going to check out today. So maybe you want to go back to your uh, advanced search, or you might want to come in here and start looking for some other options to help narrow things down. You might say, well, you know what, even though I said literature, or excuse me, fiction, maybe what I really want is a thriller. And of course, that's going to change our results drastically. Now we just narrowed that down to 12,000 plus. I go, oh, okay, great. This is more the sort of the thing I'm looking for. So you might say, perfect, exactly what I want. Three gross stories from Charles Dickens. I'm going to click on this. That doesn't check it out, but it does at least open up the book so I can get some more information here. And I think this is probably a good time to talk about the difference between an ebook and an audio book. You'll notice right here, this is listed as an ebook. What does that mean? An ebook is still a text book, meaning you're going to read it. It is going to be a digital reproduction of text. So you're going to be reading this book on your computer screen. That's different from an audio book. Of course, an audio book is you're going to be listening to it, maybe on your phone, maybe on your tablet. You could also listen to an audio book on your computer. Um, most people tend not to do that because they like to have it portable. It makes sense that you're going to download an audio book onto your phone, take it with you as you go for a walk. Um, you certainly could listen to an audiobook here on your laptop or your desktop. Most people are probably going to be choosing an ebook. When we were talking about the advanced uh, search, you can select just ebook. If you know you're going to sit and read your book on your laptop or your desktop, you don't want to look for audiobooks, great. Make that choice in that advanced search. They only show me ebooks that are available now, fiction, thriller, and it's really going to narrow your field to exactly what you want. From here, we get a little description um, talking about Charles Dickens, so on and so forth. You say, this is perfect. This is exactly what I want. I want to check this book out. I'm going to go right here where it says borrow. From here, I get to choose how many days this item checks out. Seven days, 14 days, 21 days. I'm going to choose 21 days. You can always return them early. Keep that in mind. So you might say, well, I'm not going to need this for 21 days. Great. If you don't want to check it out for that long, you don't have to. If you do want to check it out that long and you finish it faster than you expected, fine. You can return it early. I'm going to choose borrow. From here, we have some options. Read now with Kindle. If I was going to, from here, send this to... Uh, a Kindle device, specifically a black and white Kindle device. The reason I say that, um, your Kindle fires Kindles with a color screen. For that, I think it would be much easier to simply download the app on that Kindle Fire and use the app. That way you're doing everything right there on the Kindle Fire. If you've got a Kindle Paperwhite, if you've got one of the older black and white e-ink screen Kindles, this is where you're going to choose Read Now with Kindle. We're going to actually come back and visit that in a little bit. We're not going to tackle that one right now. So let's say I'm just going to read it here on my Windows 10 laptop. I could choose Read Now in Browser 
or I could download it as an EPUB book or an open EPUB book. What I'm going to choose to do in this particular case, because I'm the only person reading this book, I'm going to be reading it on my laptop. I know I'm not going to transfer it to another device or anything like that. I would choose Read Now in Browser. When you do that, you're going to see immediately it opens up a new tab there on your browser. There's your book. That's it. Turn the page. All I'm doing is clicking over here on this right hand side, just like you would turn a page from right to left. And here is my book. And I can sit there and read this book um, whenever I wanted to. If I get to a point and I say, hey, I'm done for now, I'm not going to finish this story right now, great. You just click on the X up there in your tab, close it out. Now this is sent to your bookshelf. You can see now this button has changed. It says go to loans. What does that mean? Let's say it's later. You want to pick up where you left off on that book. Now you're going to head up here to this corner where it says my account. You'll notice there's a little downward facing arrow. Anytime we see a downward facing arrow, that means we have options. I'm going to click on this little downward facing arrow. I'm going to choose loans. So here's my book, and now I can choose Read Now in Browser. It's going to open up just like it did before, and the important thing is it's going to pick up right where we left off. So now I just read, read, read. I'm done. I'm getting tired. It's the end of the day. Again, right up here at the top on this tab, click on that X, closes it out. Anytime I want to come back to my book, it's right here where it says read in browser. I can always go to loans and read it from there. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, if you've got any questions, if you run into any problems with that, you can always give us a call, especially right now with our libraries being closed at the moment. Give us a call. We'll be glad to walk you through it. If you run into any problems with that, help to make sure you can get that book checked out and be reading online. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at a similar issue. If we were going to be reading this book on a black and white Kindle, and I do want to stress the fact that we're talking about a black and white Kindle, not one of the color fire tablets that would be different. And we can take a look at that too here in a bit. All right.